What's up, YouTube? Um, yeah, sorry, I didn't get a video yesterday. Long story short, is um, just a few things came about, and I had to do them instead of what I had planned to do during the daytime, and that I, that I had to push that to the evening. So I was behind yesterday by about six, seven hours, which meant that I didn't have time to film or edit. It's annoying because I planned that whole day as well just to do some TikToks because I haven't done any for a couple of days now and the algorithm does not like that. So I'm a bit pissed that I've, I've had to do all these things. A bit pissed I'm really fucked off actually. One of them was my fault. I was sent a menu and I had a menu stock list and I had a few jars and because it looked exactly the same as the old one but with a couple of extra things I thought it was the same so the next day um, Lydia went to do the stock run for me so I could uh, start filming with mum uh, she got there and they're like well we've got none of this we've got none of that and I was like well wasn't the fucking list and they were like yeah it was I was like oh fuck's sake so then I had to go to make sure that they had the stuff for service which meant that I couldn't do the shooting of the videos I needed to do. to a 30 and they were doing 30 so naturally they had to do 20. Um, yeah. So I felt a bit preoccupied at the moment. Stuff's uh, really, oh, it's, just, it's just summer so everything's just hectic constantly. Just going from A to B, B to A, and needing to get all this stuff done. And I was talking to Mum, saying that we need, really actually need to start pushing YouTube. We've, it's always been like a second thought for us. It's never been like something we take we taken seriously. It's just when we can get a video, we get one done. It's just like we need to start taking it seriously because it has so much potential to be bigger than it is, like way bigger than it is. And we're letting that go for the sake of, I don't know, a couple of hundred a day. I mean, yeah, that couple of hundred a day. So you do that 52 times in a, a year, even if it's just a hundred, that's five and a half, well, 5,200 quid that you're down by now. And that is probably paying off a mega bill that you need to pay. People don't see it like that, and they think, oh, well, oh yeah. They, 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 they don't compute, because obviously you, if you don't have your own business, you're not going to think like that. You get paid no matter what. You have time off, you get paid holiday. We don't get paid that. So yeah, if we sacrifice a day a week, so some days we'll do 100 and other days we'll do 300. Overall, a day a week is going to cost nearly 10, 11,000 pounds a year in lost revenue. But I'm just like, I'm not, I was like saying to him, I think this, we might have to start taking the hit and just risk it. Even if the channel doesn't become that, that uh, what we want, at least we gave it a try. You know, we weren't expecting it to be as big as it is now, so who knows where we could get with it, especially when we start branching out into doing our own food and things like that and even eventually doing other sort of dishes as well like we we just before lockdown we had planned to do like a travel series through Malaysia um, but unfortunately that never came to fruition obviously because of Covid and you know it's just 
that's just the way it is at the moment. But I just uh yeah we were gonna do Thailand as well. China we were gonna hopefully try and do. And then when we exhausted all those avenues or even just for a bit of fun, just other places, asking locals and street food stores to show us how they do things and then they show us how to cook and like things like that, just things that are more fun really. And I think we get better views than cooking at home in the kitchen. But it's about building that product first to a point where we can actually do that and it's, it's worth doing in terms of views of what we're getting from views. Um, but yeah, I really want to start pushing that and again, all of our social media shit, I never really push, like once a week I'll post on Instagram, but I think I, I really want to start making the whole social thing work for us properly. I've, st I've, I've had to stop replying to every single comment on the Jang Street workshop, I just don't have the time now. Well, it's like that every summer though, I have to admit. Every summer between sort of like June and September, I, I stop replying to comments on there. Which again, is bad for the algorithm, but it's, it's just fucking, it's just too many. It's something I don't like to do because I really do like to comment back. But then, so, someone did say the other day that it, it, if you, you can like all the posts. I did, I'm not sure if you should comment on all of them. And I, I kind of agree, actually, because then it makes becoming a Patreon special. And it, well, I, it's it's going to get to the point soon where I physically can, because there is just too much. But at least I got to that that 100,000, well, 125,000 mark and was capable of doing it still then. You don't realize, like typing out something. Okay, so it takes a minute, but when you got like 40 or 50 a day, that's an hour, and some of them are sometimes paragraphs you have to read. That's a lot of work. Well, typing takes about a minute, then reading it takes what 20 30 seconds. Yeah, and you've got 40 50 a day. That's uh, two hours out of my day. I've just been typing back when that's two hours I could have spent writing up a recipe in my, cook in my new cookbook. You know, and it does make sense. It's a false. Like, I really do want to reply to everyone. I and mean, you know what? Maybe I will be one day, be able to one day when, um, like Lydia can full on manage the warehouse by herself. The restaurant can run with me, macro managing it, rather than micro managing it and being there in everyone's face. I could have got those terms the wrong way around. You know, so they're like self-contained spheres almost passive forms of income. Until that point happens, I, I, that won't ever ha happen anytime soon. We are, oh, well, I'm in for a long, long ride of fucking work. And I really don't mind that. It's just, I've, I've really got to decide now, do I stop replying forever? No, not forever, but I mean like, I'll only reply to certain comments and it, you know, it will make a reply more special actually, I guess. And I can always like them to make sure that people know I've seen them. Or heart them or whatever it's called. So I think it's a good compromise and a compromise that has to be done. Yeah. I don't think I will regret. Great. I think I will. Only in terms of I love banter and well not banter. The thing is I reply and not many people ever reply back. I just I just kind of feel like it's wasted. Because I wonder how many of those actually know I've replied unless they've asked a direct question. So 
and then it gives me an excuse not to bother with the trolls anymore, which is fantastic. Because so sometimes I just think, actually, I just hide them now. I used to, I used to, um, what's the word? Yeah, I used to play about with them just for the algorithm. But I think we got to the point now where we, we don't. I don't have to do that anymore. Um, and I don't have the time. I mean, if I had the time, I still would. But at the moment, I just hide them so they can. I think they can still type on my stuff. It's just I will never see it, so it's pointless. So they can sit there thinking, "Oh, I've had my say," and I'll, I'll never see it. <laughs> Which I think is brilliant. It does annoy me a bit because I, I do feel like you should be able to block people fully from your channel because then some people are just trolls and, and just for the sake of it but they still want to watch your content I don't think I think you should have the choice to ban some people maybe even only make it like a once a month you can only ban one completely or something like that So yeah. Anyway, this is just me kind of thinking out loud rather than what I'm actually going to do. I've got to get the fan serviced actually, and then that's up for sale. Don't need it anymore. Everyone delivers to us now again. We only bought it because the the world just stopped. Yeah, and I want to fucking website. I can't believe it. I got a message from him. Oh, don't worry. I have. A, I, 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 we're really nearly there. I have a. Hope I'll try to have a no, don't try, fucking do it. This is his fucking career, it's not a part time job for him. He works for a larger company where he does the same sort of thing, and I just can't understand why it's taking him so long. I know why it's taking him so long because he just he's he's just gone, oh, it's all right, it's just me. And I always do that, I always trust, he's not even a mate, I just know him. Yeah, so I want to start anyway making content for the new site for the vault. So I've got a load of recipes and stuff to post up in the vault. Um, but I want some extra videos for the the. I don't know what we're gonna call it. Maybe the vault. I don't know. But you know what I mean. What I hope will replace Patreon. Yeah, and I, what, I, what I would, what I quite would quite like to do is like, um, so like merch you can only get if you are a patron as well. So if you're not, or well not a patron, but a, a vaulted member or whatever, a vault member, you can't, you won't be able to buy it anywhere else. So it'll only be available to you, which I think is quite a cool idea. But anyway. I will go now. Thanks for the um, time, guys. Thank you for watching. Um, loads to think about. Don't worry. But I know I'll always be okay. Just got to really focus in on what in on what I want to do. Do I want to? I think I'm going to have focus on the social media stuff I think, well that would include books and stuff like that and I'm going to have to just go, look guys I can't do this anymore and the reason I'm paying you is so you can
have to do. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Why have I said that wrong? Take care. Stay safe. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. I'm missing a sign off. I used to have more than that, didn't I? Stay safe. This is the way. Live long and fucking prosper. Stay classy, San Diego. Chin. Sure, I used to have a an expanse phrase in there. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, <laughs> peace.